We're in the center of Union Square, which is one of the little hot spots in San Francisco. As you can see around me, it's a lot of shopping center areas. We have a lot of stores. The square itself actually used to be a residential area. It used to be surrounded by ritzy uh, homes and apartments. All that changed after the 1906 earthquake when most of those were destroyed or burned. The square itself, the name Union Square, there are two competing theories. One is that it is named after the Union, i.e. the United States, although some people say that it was named in support of the Union Army during the Civil War because they held pro-Union rallies on the square. It's a place definitely uh, in the sense it's Union Square because people come together and as you can see they eat their lunch or they shop. They sometimes hold uh, concerts here on this very spot. It's one of the gems of San Francisco. We're going to a place that is right on one edge of the square itself. It's called Emporio Rulli. And Rulli is a wonderful little Italian cafe that serves pastry. The true measure of any Italian cafe is in its cappuccino, which I will now test. That is a good cappuccino. I spent many an hour with this gentleman here, reading his various adventurous exploits. And of course, let's not forget his good friend Snowy. Snowy, Tintin's constant companion. This is one of my favorite stores in Union Square, precisely because it's filled with nonsensical, whimsical items that I don't really need, but I love to look at and wish to possess anyway. So that's just my geeky nature coming forth, I guess. So right now we're at the Powell Street cable car turnaround, and uh, the Powell Street cable car actually will take you all the way to Fisherman's Wharf from here. So we're only about two blocks south of Union Square at the moment, and a lot happens around here. As you can see, there's like street performers, there's tourists, there's cops, we have a lot of uh, street preachers, we've got chess players, we've got street vendors. It's just a hive of urban activity, and it's a really fun place to just hang out and people watch. Claude Alley. As you can see, it's a little hidden bastion of secret restaurants. This is Cafe Claude. This is a really wonderful French-style bistro in the heart of San Francisco that's very hidden and unknown. It's this little secret alley here, so if you're local, you might have heard of it, but if you're a tourist, chances are you might never stumble across it, so it's a treat to come here. I was born in San Francisco in 1967, so I'm a theater house manager. I've worked at many theaters, uh, both in San Francisco and just in the Bay Area in general. My main thrust, my main creative thrust, is always film. It's just that theater pays the bills. Film doesn't pay the bills right away. So theater's a great way to keep a paycheck going uh, and to do a job that's actually, quite honest, not that hard. Um, and yet it's fun because I'm seeing live theater, so I'm constantly in our drama. And uh, it's good. Ah. Bon appétit. French onion soup. This is what I love about coming to this, coming to this neighborhood. You can get anything. Bon appétit. Thank you. San Francisco is uh, its very Parisian, for example. It's very European. It's laid out in a very pleasing fashion. Everything is very close. Everything is within walking distance. The great thing is about this particular neighborhood. Everything is right here at your fingertips. You can shop here. You can eat here. You can stay in a hotel here if you want. You can pretty much get anything that you need within about a four or five square block radius. We're sitting right now in the Grand Café. This is actually one of my favorite bars slash restaurants in Union Square. Grand Café is actually built in the Hotel Monaco, which is one of the first buildings built after the 1906 earthquake. The café itself is only 10 years old, yet the architectural style inside looks much older because it was built to reflect sort of an Art Nouveau design. And it's really fantastically beautiful here. It's a wonderful place to eat with a lot of fantastic ambiance, and it's actually in two sections. We have right here is the bar, and then there's a lounge restaurant off to this side. It's called the Petit Café, and then in back is the Grand Café. There's actually two different menus. Right now we're going to have a drink at the bar here. We're going to have what's called a Mosquito. It's a combination of vodka, triple sec, lemon, sugar, and chambord, which is raspberry liqueur, and it's the specialty of the house, apparently. So this is what Christian has made for us, the Mosquito. I'm going to taste it right now. That is damn good and nice and strong, the way I like it. The Grand Café, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect way to top off an evening at Union Square. I think I'm going to get a little buzzed.